Hello, my name is Stefano Merino from Boyo MIT, and I'm going to show you how to use Vesta Script to work with uh, multi-select rows on some BAS windows. Okay, so this customization is for the multi-select here on the work orders window. Uh, the, the multi-select here works, uh, for example, if, if I uh, click on, on uh, this row, the number, the document 5, and I position my, my mouse here the work order document uh, 8 and I press uh, shift on my keyboard and I, cl and I click all these work orders will be selected also if I position myself here on, on, on the um, document uh, 12 and click uh, and I click my mouse and uh, while still holding down the shift button on my keyboard it also will select all of this all of this work order so this is the way that this works and uh, we might want to um, know which event of this window we can use so uh, to make a customization with this so uh, in order to do to know which event we can close this window right here and we can press on our keyboards uh, control and D and uh, the debug window will be displayed here in the protocol tab, we can we will we will be able to find all the events available. So if I click on here in work orders, you can see all the events that are happening right now. Um, the event the the event that is interesting for us is here is this one uh, window event uh, post open. If we double click here, we can see all the variables available to this uh, event and all the uh, all these variables are uh, alive right now so this is the event we're gonna we're gonna use we can close now this window and uh, here in order to do a customization specifically for this window we can we can uh, type in our keyboards control and u and uh, this editor will be displayed um, this means that we here we can we can place our code and 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 all our our customized functionalities will be uh, applying to this will be applied to this window okay and we proceed to to code window event post open and event so this event will be um, will be alive when when the when uh, the window uh, opens, we proceed now to to um, to create a button. Example: um, the way of creating buttons, uh, we can find uh, our tutorials on on the Beas help and the Beas manuals. I'll put the links down in the description of this video. Also, I will put um, the entire code that we develop here uh, for you to download, so uh, it will be available. So, okay, we created uh, this uh, button that will will be linked to this function here. Example. So we, this means that we need to create this function also. Function. Example. Let's create a global. Okay, now this means that we can use this function for whatever we want. We can save and test it. We close this window and open it again so the changes make an effect and we can see now our button example. If we click, a new message will be applied. So we open again our, our editor and uh, now we don't need this message, we need our functionality. I'm going to copy and paste the code that I have prepared for this occasion. I'm going to explain each line and what does it do. Okay, first we um, set to true this uh, DW multi-select val uh, variable. Also, we, w we might want to um, set this account variable to zero. And uh, we will we will loop through all of the uh, all of the um, you know all of the the items here there on, on the work order. 
this is important. This um, is select. It's a, an, an internal array that contains uh, Boolean values. So this means that if we are position ourselves, uh, if we position ourselves into this uh, specific uh, row, this uh, conditional statement will determine if whether if, if uh, it's selected or not. So uh, if it's selected this row, we will uh, uh, create our own array. So this means that we will add uh, via this function num add on Beas script. We will add uh, one to our uh, account uh, variable, and uh, we're gonna assign this uh, position to our array. This is this will be an array of positions. Okay. So once we do this, we perform another uh, loop. It's only this time will be a loop through our array, through the array that we have just created. Um, we start by uh, using uh, the count variable, so the loop will, will begin at one and will end at the count variable. And we will set our, uh, a new um, row number. This is the row number that's going to be that will that will stored here. So my array and the, the loop counter will be stored here. Will be assigned to this row number. So this is this will this um, are all the rows that are uh, currently uh, selected by the user. So we place a message box to you know. Oh, here we have uh, all the variables available for this, and we see that we have uh, this val and our ID, and we have also this this variable here that says C K and the uh, name. Uh, that variable must be somewhere here, but you get the you get the idea. We can use whatever we want, only uh, having uh, these rows here selected. This is the row that we set var here. It's just we just need to check this out and see what happens. I'm gonna save this script and click on OK, and we can uh, close and open it again. So the, the changes are in effect right now, and let's test this. We're going to select the document number five, and six, and eight, and we we'll click on our button example. We we are expecting a message uh, for each row, so we click on example, and as you see, the bell earn uh, bell and our ID is five, like this one. And the name is Machina Corp for this example, and we have this. Next uh, message box will be the document number six, uh, microchips and document number six, and the next one should be on uh, WH, the document with the name WH. So uh, this is how we uh, use and perform a multi-select situation. Obviously, we can uh, uh, substitute this line for whichever line we need. Uh, it could be a, a query update or something like this. It could be just uh, a search for something on f from um, OITM or, or whatever we want using, using each one of these variables that we have here. Okay, so you get the idea that we can substitute this this line for whatever we want. We can even create other functions. Function x, well, function n, global, and we could even instead of calling this message box, we can we could call function x, and this will this will do whatever we want. Okay, so this is the way we work with multi-select and uh, all, all, all of this code I will upload and will be available for download uh, for you guys and uh, well that's it and uh, see you next time.